Hello everybody and welcome to the DMS Magazine channel. I am Paco Garcia, your host, and this is the RPG A Day 2020 edition, a show devised by Dave Chapman, who thought it would be a great idea to give us a one-word prompt so we could talk about role-playing games every single day during the month of August. And today's word is strange. Now, I have to say, today's word has been quite hard for me to get on with because I spoke about, well, the word rare was there a little while ago and I thought it was pretty similar. As it happened, it's not particularly similar, but it was a bit, what can I say? Uh, it's, I mean, strange, something uh, difficult to unravel, difficult to understand. And it is something that so many role-playing games depend on, especially Cthulhu-based role-playing games. They depend on the strange things because uh, it cannot it, that it cannot be explained. In fantasy games, it's easier to explain things with magic. You know, it's, it's there and therefore it's uh, pervasive and it can be anywhere. I know, some of them, not all of them, but just follow me with this. Uh, however, in horror games that are more closely based on our own reality, strangeness has a much more important factor because it's like a puzzle that needs to be unraveled. It's something that we cannot necessarily or possibly explain, and yet it's something that we have to live with. However, there is one thing, and is that we are becoming so accustomed to that strangeness that it stops being strange anymore because it becomes very predictable. A friend of mine was complaining recently that Cthulhu games for him are that predictable. There's nothing strange about them anymore because that strangeness stops having anything to be unraveled. It stops being something that you need to investigate a little bit further. And I can see that. Having a Shogoth, it has stopped being something strange. Because we already know where they come from, we know how they think, we know how they act, we know what they are. Is it still strange? It might be strange the way they're made, but that doesn't really particularly matter. Keeping the sense of strangeness in your games is an important way of creating that cliffhanger effect of stopping the game at a point where something needs to be unraveled and you don't know what it is. Having something strange being explained or investigated, it, that enough can be a good foundation for adventures. But it's, it's becoming harder and harder to actually do strange and do it well, because we are so accustomed, so used to unraveling things that it's been done time and time and time and time again, which is a pity. Because where some games can depend on simply the creatures to fight them or to overcome them somehow to create a game, for something like an investigation game, it needs a little bit more than just finding a Shagoth or Amigo or a, an elder thing at the end of the adventure. It needs something else, something strange to be in rubble. So, Think about whether what you actually are doing is strange enough and if something else needs to be strange for the players and the characters to unravel and have fun with. Tomorrow there will be another video. Thank you very much indeed though for being there. It is genuinely appreciated. But uh, we're reaching the end of this, it's a pity, um, of this, which also means that we are reaching the end of August. Damn, that's this year horrible as it is going very fast good go away uh, anyway um, sorry I will talk to you very soon take care